Hello students, today we are going to learn third chapter in EVS Torchon 10. This is a chapter about we people or animals are going to identify the world by our sense organs that is eyes and by touching or by seeing we are going to learn the world. We can tell that whether it is slippery or slopey by the touch we can say is it slippery slopey or rough how it is with our touch we can see see here children what they are doing they close their eyes they blindfolded their eyes and they are with the touch they are saying what is that animal we can also tell that what are the dangerous things those dangerous things are fire knife chemicals or electricity Sometimes we feel uncomfortable with the touch of the people. So mother touches us with that time we feel pleasant. Some people touches us. Sometimes we may not feel comfortable. That time we have to tell our elderly people at home. Here we have an activity that things are given name of the objects are given those objects how they are if they are soft hard smooth rough hot cold sticky or slippery you have to mention here rose petals they are soft and smooth stone it is hard next sandpaper it's a rough butter paper it's a slippery honey sticky it is then jelly ball that is also sticky ice cubes they are cold so you have to mention the quality of that given object here this activity you have to do by blindfolding your eyes and then ask your friend by touching all these objects you can use some other objects also touch and then say how they feel how you feel we have to touch and write how we felt when we touch all those objects we people who can see talk hear with our touch with our feeling we can identify the things but the people some are there who cannot speak or talk hear those people are called as differently abled children those children how they are going to learn this how they are going to find out this world and then survive means they have a special school and language so that they can face all these challenges these differently able children can manage their things with courage and hard work they read the books their books are in a braille script. They read their books by touching with the fingers. Then this braille script is invented by Louis Braille, a blind person created this script. There are a number of successful people in the world who have achieved success in their life through they are blind, deaf and dumb. So in that Beethoven who was a blind person became a pianist at the age of eight years then helen keller she is a lecturer and well-known author here is one more activity that is about smelling so name of the things are given you should blindfold and then if the smell comes out you have to tell that it is a pleasant smell or unpleasant smell agarbati pleasant smell kerosene oil unpleasant smell rose rose flowers pleasant smell garlic paste it depends upon the person some says it is pleasant some says unpleasant mint leaves that is pleasant burnt egg that is also depends upon the person pleasant or unpleasant ice cubes i think so ice cubes gives out cool vapors they won't give out any smell this is an activity. This is a chapter about touch and tell. In this chapter, we have learned that 
organs that help us to feel the world around us are called our sense organs. Skin protects the internal organs of our body and gives us the sense of touch. We should not touch things like fire switches or sharp objects, uh, chemicals, etc. Mother's hug is a good touch. Pushing and hitting are examples of bad touch. Sometimes people touch our body at places which makes us uncomfortable. We should tell our parents or elders in our family about it. Our nose helps us to identify things and, the, and, and its smell. Some children cannot see, hear, speak or walk. They are called differently able children. There are a number of successful people in the world who have prospered in life in spite of the fact that they were blind or deaf and dumb. To those people, we should understand the problems of children who are differently able. We should help them whenever they need it. This is a chapter about touch and tell.